Oh, I just caught a glimpse of this finger in the viewfinder and I'm like, why is there blood all over my hand? No, I just did something a little new with the art. I've never done strawberries before and I got a little uh, excited and did a different design on each finger. Not my usual vibe, but I'm learning to love it. Anyway, I know I have a habit of like matching my nails to what's inside boxes, but I literally don't know what's in this box. So if for some reason it's strawberry themed, it is completely random. I really, really don't think it's going to be, but you never know. This is the Zen Pop stationery box. So it's got a bunch of of Japanese stationary items in it directly from Japan. They're always a blast to open and I hope you'll uh, come along with me. <laughs> I almost did watermelon nails instead of strawberries, so that would have been funny. <laughs> but here we have Zen Pop's mascot Luna chilling on the beach. Happy summertime vibes. <laughs> no strawberries. We're clear. <laughs> Actually, everything's really turquoisey, which is pretty. <laughs> what is this? I love the art. It looks like a pickle. I don't think it's a pickle. This packaging is really cool. <laughs> So you like push this. Hey, wow, it's like a retractable washi tape dispenser. Look at that. I just wanna see what this looks like. I don't know if it's just tape. Oh, I think it's just a sticky adhesive. So it's like glue. It's not like a tape, but it's blue. It is like a blue glue. I don't think there's any particular pattern. It's just a bunch of dots, but I think the schmanciness is in the dispenser. Very nice. The washi tape this month. <clears throat> so there's always, they guarantee that there'll be one washi tape every month, which is great because I don't know what it is about washi tape that brings me joy. It's tape, but pretty. Oh, there's glitter on it. Here you can see the pattern and the glitter bubbles at the edge of the ocean or the wave. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, it's beach. There's a theme going on with the blues. This is the Saturday morning collection of the Uniball 1 0.38 millimeter pens. Every day is a new day. Wow. The amount of time they put into the packaging, that is what brings me the most joy about these boxes. Like honestly, half the time, a lot of this actual supplies are not things that I gravitate towards on a day-to-day -day basis. There are a lot of things that I like still use very consistently. So that's not like a downside about this at all, but the packaging just, I don't know, just like taking in all the ways paper can fold and like where they have to put design for it to look right in certain places. Like it just fascinates me, fascinates me. Anyway, these are the pens. <laughs> we have sunny day blue, palm green and yellow. Ooh, don't you love when pens come with the little plastic nib that you gotta pick off? Ooh, this is a really waxy gooey. I also really like that this looks like a paper clip. I'm easy to please. Ooh, that is Thin. I literally read how thin it was. I should have been prepared. I might have had a little too much caffeine today. My handwriting is suffering. Breathe through the lines. Yellow, blue, and green. Oh, are there more pens in here? Ooh, they can connect together maybe? Wait a minute. There's a whole lot of diagrams on the back of here that are confusing me. <gasps> but yes, they do connect. So you can draw with them both at the same time. I like this. Ooh, pretty, oops, I hit the glue. <laughs> or you can separate them. I think they just pop out of here. How cool. I really love those colors. Those are right up my alley. Ooh, this is shiny. Oh, that's cool. So the cover of this, oh, that is so shiny. Looks like kind of like a computer monitor. So it's got like Spotify playing, your inspirational message, someone sending you a text or your search bar. Ooh, wait, you can actually draw on that. Oh, that's a cute notepad. I do use these notepads because you always need something to write on. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. You can also pass a note, leave love notes in people's cars. Mm. This is an interesting art style. I like the use of like pops of color. Oop, yeah, it went flying. This is just the instructions. So there's 30 sheets and it comes with a stand. You can display it on your desk. So cute. Kind of works. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be slightly slanted. I like that it's like a thought bubble more than a speech bubble. Cute, love the little braid and the art style quite a bit. Ooh, this is rainbows and kitties. Which we look at first. We have a sticker sheet with kitty cats, fishies, fish bowls, and lanterns that look like fish bowls. What about the stars? Oh wait, the rainbow. Oh cool, they're like business cards. They're really pretty, oh my gosh. 
Yes. I buy white versions of this. So I can use a roller deck. Roller decks. Actually, it's a business card organizer. And then I can make notes and I can move them around. But yeah, I feel like I could use these for that. And that gets me really excited. And then the back side, it's white. So you can write a lot more on there too. There's plenty of things you could probably use those for. Definitely counts as stationary, I would say. All right. And finally, we're at the bottom of the box. Looks like a letter set with beautiful constellations that you can't see because it's too shiny. Ooh, they're clear. So basically there's letters, you know, the letter paper, which you write on one side and the other side's really, really dark so that when you put it inside of the envelope, it makes the stars really shine when you fold it. And then there's these little guys, which I'm going to assume so that you can write the address. That is so so pretty. I literally did something like this in, I don't know what specifically that class was, but we did have to design mailers for a charity event. And I literally took wax paper and made an envelope so that it was clear and you could see something on the inside. I thought it was a really good idea. And now I'm seeing someone else do it much better. And I love it even more. Clear envelopes, pretty cool, pretty cool. It twinkles. Okay, let's move on. That is everything inside the box. I'm honestly a little bit tempted to grab my blank cards again and like draw little illustrations on these. Let's grab my sketchbook and just think out loud here for a minute. Now we don't have any black pens, so we can't really do this exactly. I keep forgetting how dainty these pens are. I'm so used to using real thick lines. A little pen sketch with that hairdo maybe. Bangs. Low braid. Then I can use this darker color that's more visible to potentially pick our favorite lines. Make them more visible. Visible. Wispy hair. Hmm? Oh, we could take this pink. It's gonna be really bright. But do a little blush. Yep, that's a highlighter for you. That could be fun for like pops of color, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting. I also just love how there's a flat color behind her and then she's white with the like black line art. Ugh, I love that. I kind of want to just replicate something like that. Maybe on this card so then I can actually, I'm going to use the rougher side of the card. The markers hopefully stick a little better because the other side's shiny. Anyway, I'm going to grab a colorized pencil and sketch a little character like that. Let's see if the speech bubble kind of takes up space like that. And then we'd have the face in here somewhere. Mm-hmm, something like this. And since we're gonna do black lines with no color, I would like there to be a decent amount of detail happening in that area so that there's something to look at since there's no color, you know? And we also should be taking this beach into account. Maybe put her in a bathing suit. Maybe she's chilling on the beach. Hold her top, I feel like it's just the most bathing suity thing. I'll do a one piece. There'd be another leg coming out here somewhere. Ooh, what if there's like a flower? And then the rest is stripes underneath. Glasses are so hard when they're not just circles. Nice really little ponytail. Okay, it's kind of an idea. I want to fill all of this part with, I guess, a solid pink. I also need to figure out exactly what this part's going to look like before I do that. So I will need an eraser. Oh, this box actually didn't come with an eraser. I'll use this one. It came in a Zen Pop box. It actually smells like strawberries. <gasps> hey, that matches my nails. Ooh, I could even cut this out around here. I will color the whole thing in first. Clean up the outside edge, because that's where we're gonna add color here. I could use this, but I kinda wanna go with this vibe first. At least for this first little attempt. I feel like this might be a decent color for this. It's a bit desaturated. Oh, it's called honey. It's technically a red. That's also really fun, but it's really vibrant, but it's not as vibrant as that. Let's do it with the vibrant color. I just wanna see. Start in the top left corner and see what happens. Okay, it's not the best paper, but it's also like it's glidey, which I think is helping us blend out the streaks really well. <gasps> that looks kind of cool. Actually, even after it's dry, it seems like you can lift it, which might be a bad thing. That means you might be able to just lift all of the marker, which means it's not actually sticking. We'll find out. Let's see, I'm gonna put my finger on here and see if it comes off. Okay, it doesn't look like it's coming off. Might do a second layer. No, I wanna do the line art part. Here's a point one, that's real tiny. Then we just add a bunch of fine lines. 
I'm not as a detailed artist as this style, so it's not gonna look the same. I'll see what I can do. Ooh. What do sunglasses look like? They change shape. They change shape. Oi. What are these things? Goggles? I suppose goggles make sense on the beach too, but they're not supposed to be goggles. Definitely gotta go with like all those strands of hair. That seems very important. Should we go with all the bangs and everything too? Not that they're supposed to be the same person. Ugh, it looks so gross. This is why I don't do hair like this. It looks like it needs to be brushed. Detail work is not my specialty. I like simple, fun shapes. Just a little hint of detail. Make you think that maybe it's detailed, but it's really not. That's my forte. <laughs> oh, the stripes. Yeah, just a little extra something happening. Let's go ahead and erase everything. I know this pencil doesn't erase perfectly. So it probably wasn't the right thing to use for this. Maybe just a regular graphite pencil would have been. I also see that I want to fill in a little space back here. I think I also want to use this and go over the glasses. I guess I am, because I literally just did it. Cute. That's our little pop of color, I guess. I could even maybe use a highlighter to even make that more vibrant. And also we need a pink line art for the speech bubble. I think I have something that should work. Okay, it's not quite the right color, but it's closer than black. <laughs> There's my attempt at that. Uh, I like that one better, but it was a very good first attempt. I feel like I know some things I would like to do differently. I also wanna try just cutting that, make it a different shape at the top so it's not a complete rectangle. Grab my scissors and do that. Gonna follow the shape. Oop, got too close. We got too close, folks. Maybe I really did have too much caffeine. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue and glue her in. Layer in there for now. We could do a bunch in a bunch of different colors. That could be fun and maybe I'd get the hang of it. But I really like that style. Honestly, when I stop looking at this, I like this a little more. Which maybe means I'm on the right track. I'm gonna just write a little message. Cause that makes it cuter. Honestly, I think I would like to try again. Maybe with a different color. I grabbed a few more of these cause I think I just want to make a bunch. Maybe even using like OCs or something. So obviously we're gonna do wheels first. So her colors are pink and yellow. So I could either do another pink background one or I could go yellow, which I do have a pen. The only problem with the yellow pen is it probably won't be darker than the yellow background. But I don't know, I've got a few of these to work with. I kind of just want to fill a bunch of them. Also, I want to try not to use Use this pencil because it didn't really erase. I'm gonna try a regular old pencil. So why don't we try going the other direction? We'll have her look a different way. I'm gonna try and draw really lightly so that it erases, hopefully. Also need to leave room for the speech bubble. I'm not sure how I wanna do that. Now Wheels is always happy, so we're gonna need a big old smile. Ponytails. She has like an oversized shirt. And then tighter A-line skirt. And there's a face on here. She also has a very round face, so I try to use a lot of circles. I also usually try to give her kind of thicker eyebrows. Also, I'm discovering I don't really like drawing this small, but I'm committed. <laughs> wonder if I take like this speech bubble thing and have it actually like the little speaky part, the little, I don't know what those are called, the little tail, and if it actually come in front of her. So I feel like it's something that happens in comic books, so it's not really breaking new ground, but it felt revolutionary when I was about to say it, and then I said it, and then I'm like, oh, that's not actually that original. <laughs> but now that I've done that, I feel like I should have it come over from the mouth side, you know? All right, so now I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and lighten this sketch, then grab that pen. I liked the size of this pretty much. All right, hold your breath. I think I'm gonna skip the super liney hair because it just looks like spaghetti and I don't like it. <laughs> I like this shape of the hair, that looks really fun. Whoop. If the body's kind of stiff, at least the hair has a little swoosh happening. <laughs> you know what I could do? Add the swoosh to the shirt too. And just add a little extra, like it's being blown in one direction. Also, I went too far on the eye, so now it looks like there's one really big eye and a tiny eye. <laughs> Art is a... Fickle. Fickle, fickle. One tiny line in the wrong place and it's a disaster. Oh, speech bubble. Should we try it in yellow? If we're gonna do the background in yellow. I wanna do it squiggly like that. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and erase everything. Try not to bend our paper. 
Let's find a nice pastel yellow that's hopefully lighter than this pen. I'm gonna put a little pen there and then we're gonna try and find yellow. It's lighter than that. Ooh, first try. Ooh, that's even lighter. I think I can go with the first one. Lemon chiffon. The only part I would cut is maybe these corners. Okay, maybe you could come in on this side. Anyway, I did want to use the pink and color in the pink spots of her outfit, which are these and these. But then we could use this yellow for the smiley face. That's a little less smiley. It's more like a face. All of her friends have them. Should I cut some out? No, we're just experimenting anyway. I also want to see if I can use this yellow for shading here. All right, we're gonna cut some. And what's the worst that can happen? I don't like it. Like, psh, like that's never happened before. But I'm gonna try and actually keep equidistance from the lines this time. Is that enough? I feel like that's like the professional limit that I should cut. What would be awesome is if I could imitate this curvature so it looks like, like the card ends right there. I think I could do that. Let's try. So it's like coming out of the card, even though it's obviously not the card shape anymore. It's a little smaller, but that's kind of cool. Might take a little white gel pen. Gotta fix the sidewall. Hey, what do you think? Cute. All right, let's stick that in there. Let's grab another one. This is actually, I'm, I'm on a little bit of a high because I'm really happy with how that turned out actually. Should I try and do something on these? They're so pretty. Also, I feel like I should do a cat. We have cat stickers. So I'm gonna draw a little kitty cat. Yes. Yes, and then body. Maybe a tail somewhere behind the speech bubble. So that's basically the layout of it. Do their knees come up a little higher maybe? Maybe even add a little like fuzz. I usually draw my animals with dots for eyes, but let's try that. I'm gonna give them some kind of eyebrow so I can give it more of an expression. <laughs> that's kind of cute. I don't draw cats often. Now let's see, these cats have patterns. Maybe we could copy them. So it's like a dark ear and then a spot. Hey, oh. Let me give it more human eyes so it can do even more expression. Look at that, the difference. I curl the tail this way. Looking good. I feel like it's ready for line art. I also haven't decided what color I'm doing this one. That might be an important little tidbit. Maybe I should go off some of the colors that I have in pens. We have green and blue. Got a feeling green for some reason. I'm gonna do that first. And then the line art was with this pen. <laughs> Hiding from me. Start with the tip of the tail. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with that. I need to add in these legs, which for some reason I feel like I can't see where they're supposed to go. But we'll kind of just make do. I'll just fill that in. Or I could have done that in green, actually. That might have been smart, then you could have seen the eyebrow. Although I suppose I could add the second color in green. Because these cats, I don't know if that's the calico print or something. But it's like brown and black. But we could do green and black. Why not? Why don't we try? Cover in this green ear. Maybe some here. A little piece that kind of overlaps. Maybe tip of the tail. There we go. Now it's got a little extra color in there. Maybe even one of the legs. All right, now let's make sure everything is erased as much as it can be before we add any marker. Now we need to find a nice light green that looks good with this. Ooh, this is actually kind of a light green. I think I need something very light. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did I just find it again? I wouldn't mind something a little brighter than that, actually. Ooh, that's better. Let's test it in this small spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! Oh, that looks pretty good. I think it needs a little color on the face. Oh, that is not even the right color. You are not in this illustration. A little shadow under the speech bubble. Meow. <laughs> I feel like this one looks good as a rectangle. I might leave her be and do another one. What else we got? We got fishies. We got the beach. We could turn it sideways. We could do a couple cats. What about three kitties? One, and then a taller one, and all bunched up at the bottom. A nice tail. Woohoo! I need some kind of speech bubble. I'm honestly not sure why I'm adding the speech bubbles at this point. I mean, I know it was because of this, but like, is it really that cool? <laughs> I kind of want to go no speech bubble on this guy. This one foot. 
And the other foot could be pushing over back here. Figure out where the legs go. Tail back there somewhere. And then this little guy needs a little sketch in. Make him standing up maybe. And this guy can have the bell. And give them each a collar. Sometimes that just helps figure out where the neck is. Okay, now if this one's standing up, we kind of have to move where the tail comes from. That's kind of cool. Let's lighten up the sketch. This is our little clueless cat. Mm -hmm. and then this is our like the leader cat, so it's kind of gonna have a more serious look. Mm -hmm. well, this one's mad. This one's like, oh crap, someone's getting in trouble. And this one's like, do we want to make it sad or more like challenging the status quo? Either way, I think I need to resketch it. It's not saying any of that to me. Oh, but that's a little sad. Maybe lower its ears. Be more sad. I don't know. That might be too sad. Could be making a goofy face. <gasps> Ooh, that's better. <laughs> a goofy one turned out real funny. And let's use the blue one. Oh, we weren't adding a speech bubble. Mmm. I kind of had a system going. <laughs> I gotta add some blue pen somewhere and need to find the right blue marker. Let's see if we have something closer. Exactly the same. Oh, too green, too dark. We have a more saturated version of that. We'll use that. It's a uh, pale blue. I think I want to draw with the pen. I suppose I could add the patterns. Let's make the one in the middle of this cat. It's like a pattern over the eyes, like this, and under the chin, down the shoulder, and like back here. This one needs like extra pattern. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll make this guy the calico. <laughs> Blue. And then that guy, I guess, can just stay white. I don't know. Plain old white cat. Then we'll take this color in the background. Ta-da! Somehow this one turned out really weak. I like to sketch better, I think. So I used all the pens. I think this one's my current fave. I really like the pose and how that turned out. I like the layout of everything. Hmm, what do I do now? I'm gonna try the shiny side. Let's do it once and for all. Also draw bigger because I can't get detail in the tiny stuff. So clearly that's the problem there. I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I've got this cute, adorable tape. It's so pretty, I love that. I kinda wanna copy that. I love the way the white looks like bubbles and there's like shadows under the foam. I'm gonna need like a orangey brown. Kind of like that. Could probably start with that. And we'll just do a big, I don't know, like a squiggle of the beach. Fill that in. Ooh, the shiny side actually looks even less textured. Less textured. Can I speak? We'll need a shadow version of this. So slightly darker. Hmm, but less saturated. Ay, ay, ay. Listen to me. Ooh, that's it, but too dark. Do I have a lighter version of this? Ooh, what about our barley beige? That might be too light, but we can try it. So then this is anywhere that's gonna be underwater. So we gotta create a different pattern and fill all that in. Ooh, the shininess is showing through now. But then under that, or on top of that, go with your next darkest and you draw in the shadows of the bubbles. Which I'm not sure what the bubbles are gonna look like yet, but we're gonna just make it up. Oh, and there's definitely a nice rim of bubbles right at the end. Wow, this doesn't seem as dark on this paper. And from there you get squiggles. You just draw circles, I'm not sure. So then the white gel pen's gonna go over top of that. And then we do the same thing with our blue, but fill in this other half. And this is the water. And then I need a darker version of even that. Type of brilliant blue. There we go. I think they're gonna kind of disappear as they get to the top though. And hopefully the white gel pen can actually layer on top of the shiny surface. Otherwise we're out of luck. And we'll do a little cat footprints cause there's some on there. Sand texture. Maybe we can add like a little seashell or maybe a, what's that called? Sea star? What is that? Starfish. Oh my gosh. Brain. Pick in please. Any minute now would be great. We're almost done with the video. <laughs> so let's try the white gel pen. Ooh, I'm nervous. We need a nice ridge right at the bottom of bubbles. Oh, there's actually an extra wave in here. I'm gonna make that match. 
an extra one, why not? So that's like the little tip of a wave. So this should be kind of thick because I'm gonna add in the extra little bits there. So maybe even thicken up this, especially this one because that's the one at the end, right? Now I just have to add in these guys. Lots of circles. Hey, that actually looks kind of cool. Let's use some more of our pens. Add another starfish. Add another starfish. Could add the shadow of a fish. I wonder if I can blend out that darker blue color with this. Ooh, you kind of can. I don't want to lighten up some of the shadows. Some of this color. Let's go over yellow under the blue as the water kind of like fills in the sand. And I'm going to go back over with the Posca pen. We add these bubbles. I'm gonna fill in the corners of the circles. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that might be my favorite. I love the gradient and everything. <sighs> Thank you, washi tape. Should I try and do one of these? I'm gonna just try and recreate this guy now. It's shiny, so it's like really easy to blend after the fact. So I think I'm gonna just work on the background. This is our green. Goes all the way across. We need a nice blue right above that. And that goes into purple. Using the chisel side. Seems good enough. Good uh, use of it. And it goes into like a darker blueish purple. Ooh, I actually need something darker than that. Jump between the colors. Blend out even better that way. And there's a yellow at the bottom, actually. All right, mine's not as smooth of a gradient here. Maybe switch to the brush side. Yeah, it kind of just looks like four stripes. <laughs> Maybe a colorless blender and just go over the whole thing. I've never actually used this for that purpose, but let's see. I could try and find some transitional colors. This green and like a bluish green color between these two. I don't know. I don't actually see a difference on the monitor. <laughs> Can I use that yellow pen that came with this to draw stars? I can, but they're just not quite as vibrant. We need something to pop, so it might be just wide gel pen for that. But let me try the green though for these little evergreen trees. I think the marker is eating away at this. Oh no! Gotta bring in the backups. These are my pens. These are the Pure Energel, Pentel Energel, excuse me, trees. I like that. Go with the white gel pen and add in the stars. All right, so this didn't turn out as well as this did. Oh, I love this still. Still makes me happy. Wait, is this a gold gel pen? <gasps> Wait. It looks very similar to the yellow, but it's gold, so it's glittery. Ooh, especially when you can actually see that it's gold. Very cool, very cool. I wanna glue all my little masterpieces in here. I'm gonna glue. Just gonna shove that in here. I can stick this guy here. I keep almost putting it on backwards. Also, I gotta put in the uh, inspo in here. Just making a little collage in my sketchbook, I guess. Oh, right here would be cute. I also have this washi tape on display. I'm basically just making an adorable collage of all the cute things in here. Ooh, it would be kind of cool to glue one of these envelopes in. I might do that at the end of the book. All the glitters on this side. I suppose I could put them on this way. I could put the flap on the inside. I'm doing it. But so the background shows to be a little better. All right, back here. Let's finish. I still need to glue a guy in. I think this would be the best spot. Now it makes me want to do some more, but I, I'm also like at my limit for the day, I think. New straw. Nice old strawberry seeds. Divots. I'm weird and bumpy. Yellow pen for the little seeds. I just wanted a little hint of strawberry. I want to actually color it in. No, oh, I'm actually coloring it in though, aren't I? Eek! Now I'm gonna have to find a green. It's not quite ripe, I don't think. <laughs> or maybe we're just drawing a pastel strawberry. I don't know what I did. <laughs> it was looking kind of good. Did I literally just draw something not inspired by the box at all, but inspired by my nails? <laughs> I think it ju I just processed what happened here. But I think that means my processing power might have reached its capacity and it's time to move on to another project. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching and coming along with me as I opened the July Zen Pop stationery box and tried to create, I don't know, art inspired by what was inside. And strawberry. And strawberry. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.